The WBC is the Women's Boxing Club. It originally started in October 2014. We were originally based here at the Community Aero Kick Boxing Gym, Bissell Street in Birmingham. The original reason why I enterprised into women's boxing, I've been training males for 15, 16 years. Had a look around Birmingham, nobody was getting involved in female boxing. Certain clubs had one female in there. Another club would have keep fitters in there, but nobody would actually, none of the coaches or none of the clubs would work with females in regards to their boxing. The reason why is they said that they would have to change facilities. They'd have to put in extra showers, extra, you know, toilets, changing rooms. To be honest, a lot of the old trainers just didn't want women in the gym. They didn't want them, full stop. But they're the old school. Times have changed now. Boxing's evolved, it's changed into the, the futuristic world now when uh, it's about time. After my first fight, um, which I trained with Jason for and I had my first fight, and we spoke about how there wasn't really any sort of women's boxing in the area, uh, not just I mean, in Birmingham, but in the Midlands at all. It wasn't really prominent, so we thought, let's put something together for a lot of the women. Um, not just for the boxing side of things, but there's a lot of women that want a women's environment just to train, keep fit, lose weight, make friends, uh, go somewhere after work when they've had a bad day. Um, so we initially thought, okay, let's put it together and see how it goes. 20, 30 years ago, the perception of a female was to raise kids, have children, work in the house and just do what they were told to do while the men went out and worked, brought the money back, brought in the food. And But it's not so now. The women want to come in, train hard, get sweaty, get dirty with regards to the punch in the bags and they want to train harder. Female boxing is um, not really as prominent as male boxing. You know, it's very, very far off completely where male boxing is. So you always get people that look at you a little bit strange. You think, oh, women boxers. But I think, again, that's why we set WBC up to, to give people that idea that, you know, why can't women be involved in a sport like boxing? Um, so as much as people do have their opinions and views, I think once they get to know us a little bit, um, you know, we tell them about us. And it does change people's opinions, it changes people's views. They're like, wow, really? Women boxing. But it makes me laugh a little bit when people have their opinions because it's real, what we do is real, you know, it's, it's not just a setup that we talk about, it's real, then 30, 40 girls that come on our sessions, it's all women that are into it and want to be involved with it. To be fair, when we first started out, there was about three, three women, uh, now we have anywhere between 30 and 40 women, and you know, just over a year, I think that's a massive, massive achievement. Some of the accolades we've got have been absolutely massive as well, I mean, Box Nation, we've had some big names uh, in the boxing industry, promote us, Nigel Ben, Anthony Joshua, Ricky Hatton, Nicole Scherzinger, Freddie Flintoff, so I think that's massive, it's a big achievement. The way that training goes with boxing, you've got to start at the foundations, you've got to do the basics. You've got people coming in onto the gym who have never done any boxing. They've probably done boxer size classes or they've done body attack, body combat. They've done Pilates, they've done spin classes. But the boxing fitness itself is just something totally different. It works every muscle, every part of the body. So when you're first coming in, you learn the basics. You learn where to put your feet, how to step, how to step to the left, step to the right, how to throw punches. Your combinations, you just, for the first week, two weeks, you're learning the absolute basics of boxing until you can remember how to step forward, how to step back. Remember to keep your hands up, keep your chin down. If you can't do that, it's constantly kept on you until you do. But obviously, as you progress into the next week, the, the circuit and the fitness is stepped up. So everything is, picked up at a longer pace. At the start of it, everything is sort of like at this length, but the closer and closer you get to the show, everything is condensed. It's slowly compacted in, but it's also sped up as well. So from doing a three, three minute round of sparring or training and two minutes, you're now condensing it into one minute so they can absolutely blast off and fire off the shots in the one minute. And then, the momentum's there then, from, from organising the stamina to actually now getting into throwing the fights for 60 seconds and then moving, and it's that's how it's worked. Everything is from long distance all the way condensed into speed and, and fast movement. Uh, Jason's a fantastic trainer. He will always push you to get the best out of you. Uh, I've had people say before, you've got a harsh trainer, you know. Uh, it's mental, I've watched him, yeah. But if he wasn't like that, then when you get in the ring, you haven't done everything you can. 
um, so for, for him to be harsh, for him to push us and you're knackered and you can't move no more and your body's aching because you know you've done everything you can in that lead up. The training we get at WBC is fantastic, couldn't ask for nothing better, it's everything you wanted to do in terms of fitness, um, the people around you, all the girls here, like it's like a family, great bunch of girls, um, brilliant trainer, Jason, what can I say about Jason, <laughs> he's just a fantastic trainer. He's a brilliant friend as well. It feels like I've known him for years, but um, as a trainer, he's, he's the best in business. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's an all-rounder. Um, he you know, gives you the advice that you need. Um, you can speak to him other than boxing. You can go to him as a friend. In terms of the training we get from him, it's, he's, like, he's very strict with us, as well as having a bit of a laugh and a joke at the same time, but you see results from Jason's training, definitely. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. I mean, um, it's a lot of banter, it's a good laugh and joke. Uh, no one's ever really down. Uh, some of the girls, when they start, they're quite shy, they're quite timid. But after a few sessions, they broke out their shell. Um, everyone gets on. It's not just at the club. Um, we have a lot of days out where we go for meals. Maybe we'll get together and watch the boxing. We'll go to boxing shows together. And it's nice because it's not just, okay, you train, that's it, everyone goes home. Uh, people have built friendships outside of it, which is nice. Well, we've got a show coming up. It's looking good. They've trained hard. Some of them have been training for five, six months, seven months, and they've been training for less. And some, it's the first fight, so they're on tender hooks, but they've been encroached and encouraged by the other girls. Our first opening bait of boxing is between our very own Mav Akram, who's a joint partner in WBC. She's up against Alina from Northampton Women's Boxing Club. How do we look at going it? It's absolutely evenly matched with regards to weights, heights. Alina's a, a marathon runner. The following day after the show, she's actually flying out or she's going out to France to run the Paris Marathon. So which is 24 hours after the fight. Mav's got great fast footwork. She's got great speed in her hands. She just fires them off and then moves. Where a lot of other fighters will just stand, throw the shots, and then they'll move slowly, where Mav has got that tendency of pop, 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 and then out the way to throw again. Alina's got a longer reach. She's got at least three inches on a on a reach-wise. It's gonna be that close, you know, It's it all depends on who's connecting with the most accurate punch, who's putting the effort in to roll, duck and dive and attack, because the referees obviously now they look for who's attacking the most and who's connecting with the clear shots. It could go either way for me. With every fight you're going to be nervous. I think if you weren't nervous, it'd be a little bit strange. Uh, more so because it's our own show. I feel that little bit of extra pressure because people think, oh, it's your own show, you're fighting on your own show. So naturally I've got that little bit of extra pressure on doing the opening fight. Uh, but also just because I think mentally I'm a little bit tired because I'm running the show, training everybody and then having to be at the venue from 10 o'clock in the morning, setting it all up. Uh, but again, I've got absolute confidence in um, Jason as my coach and take things from there. 80% of it, I'll tell mentality. If you get in that ring with the mentality that I'm going to lose, I can't do it, you won't. But if you get in that ring with, I'm okay, I'm going to do this, and whatever the outcome, I've tried my best, and that's the most important thing, to know that I've gone in that ring and I've done everything I can. All you can do is your best when you're in there. Mav's proper trained hard. She's been sparring non-stop for months. She's been on the pads. She's been doing a lot of running, a lot of, you know, mixing in her weights as well. But taking nothing away from Alina, she's a marathon runner. She can run all day and... That's outside the ring. When you have to step into the ring and then keep accumulating your speed from different up and down gears, that might just be um, a bit different than running straight roads. But good luck to them both. It's going to be a really good opener. Delta of a fight. Shut up and sit down.
really pleased. Really good opening bout of boxing. I think she's ended up giving Elena a black eye to run the Paris Marathon. Overall, really, really good. Ducked and dived. Bobbed and weaved all the time. And then just accuracy on the shots. And after three rounds of boxing, ladies and gentlemen, the referee scores a fight 29 28 in favour of the blue corner. <laughs> There was so much going on throughout the day, so getting the venue set up, looking after the other girls, making sure everything's on point. I didn't really have a chance to sit back for five minutes and focus and get ready to go in the ring. It was all of a sudden go, 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 that's it, I was in the ring. So I didn't really have time to register. So um, in the first round, I was pretty much just like going into it. Uh, the second round, my contact lens fell out. Um, one of my lenses fell out. So in the third round, I had to try and pull the other one out in a minute break. So it was all a bit mental. So in the third round, I, was, I went from seeing really clear to still being able to see, but yeah, I, I was actually really pleased. We had 11 bouts of boxing. A lot, a lot of punches thrown. I, uh, I get asked a lot why women should get involved in boxing. Uh, I don't think they should. The women that want to get involved in boxing, then that's, that's a different question. I like the thought that somebody can set their sights on something and say, look, I want to reach this in 12 months or I want to, you know, I want to see me excel that in six months time. And they do. They come back and they go, you know, without your help, I wouldn't have achieved that. You know, you just push them, you're guiding them into winning a title or they've won a fight or they've just done three rounds of boxing where when they come in they couldn't do 10 seconds. But then they've gone through three, three rounds of boxing or four rounds of boxing and they're going, I'm not tired anymore. I've gone through that and I didn't even break into a sweat. It's been so great, you know, the success that we've achieved um, in the first year and a half. You know, I think myself and Jason would just like to keep building on that, mainly for the girls that train here, you know, help them continue to get stronger, you know, build their confidence. Um, the ones that want to go on to fight, support them, you know, put them on shows um, and just give them, like I said, that goal in reach to know whatever it is we're here to achieve. You know, the guys are going to help me. Uh, and I think that's the main point of why we set it up, you know, be that name in female boxing. We opened the door straight away and said, right, we're going to open the first women's boxing club in Birmingham. Box Nation voted us number one enterprise in boxing. Female boxing is around and it's here to stay. It's not just going to disappear overnight. Um, and we're only going to grow, get bigger and better from it. Females can box, they're here to box. And it's getting bigger and stronger. And the only branding that is in the Midlands is WBC, Women's Boxing Club.